guess who's back? It us. It us. We back. It me. It you. It you. I'm Alicia Valensky. Hello, I am Mel Fox. And we are Work For Your Beer. I was like, can I see my phone there? Ooh, ah. Ah, so we haven't done a take a, take a, wow. <clears throat> Rewind. Steven, cut it. Steven! <laughs> oh boy, we haven't done a take a lot in a while. Uh, so here we are, we are at Divine Barrel Brewing. In Charlotte, North Carolina. Which means Alicia came to visit in Charlotte this weekend. I don't know if you guys know this, but I live in Richmond and Mel lives in Charlotte. Yeah. And we're like star-crossed lovers who are four <laughs> and a half hours away from one another. Too and far. sometimes, I come back, and sometimes, the world is bright and shining. Sometimes we go other places together. The other places one is fun too. And we drink all the beer. We drink all the beer wherever we go. That's our thing. It's fantastic. And our favorite humans at Divine Barrel said, you have to drink all of our beer. All of our beer. So today, we are gonna drink all their beer. And we're gonna start with Mel's favorite beer. Yes. Brewed yes. by Divine yes. Barrel. Yes. It is called Defensive Pancake. And why I love it so much, is because I have a dog, a corgi, named Pancake, and he's also very defensive. Very defensive. So this is brewed basically for me. Essentially, and it's maple syrup and hey, you vanilla. you cut it out back there. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> it is maple syrup and vanilla, which means it's gonna taste like goddamn pancake. So good. Which makes sense because the Oh my god, it smells like breakfast in my mouth. Mm. Ooh. It's so good. So, fun fact. It smells like straight maple syrup. Last year, right around this time, I had my rehearsal dinner for my wedding here, and I drank maybe six of these, but full-sized. Yes. Delicious. And uh, mm. they have a beautiful space here. We are not in their normal space because they're having a lovely little market because they're very involved in the community here. Very involved in the community, but we are currently in the brew house, behind the scenes, like very special people that we are. Well, and this is where they do yoga. So very, yes, very on brand. brand. Wow, that was a better point than what I said. It's okay. That's I, why we're a team. I could drink 80 of these. Let's do it. I love this beer. <laughs> so far, this is like, I mean, so far this is my favorite. It's a stupid <laughs> thing to say. This is my favorite. But like, this so is far. the exact style of beer that I like to drink at this time of year. People do a lot of like spice dales and stuff, but <gasps> maple syrup. Oh, so good. I could also just drink syrup though. Like you, honey, it's like, like your honey, honey thing. Yeah, you just like that. Let's just like throw some molasses down your throat. I like some happens. sticky sweet. Just uh, God. <laughs> this is a porn channel now. Sorry, oh my mom. God. My um, sister. This is sidebar. My sister, as like a middle schooler, her friend who was a really beautiful like model friend. Please don't say she did porn in middle school. No, she wore a shirt that my sister said, I want the same shirt and it said sticky fun and my parents were like, oh hell Just no. Hard no on that. <laughs> but it had like a little peppermint on it so it was like appealing to kids because they don't know what that means. Anyway. How long did it Kim. take you to realize <laughs> that the song, um, shit I can't remember the actual name of the song, but You're So Sweet Make Me Wanna Lick the Rapper. Oh yeah. Was a double entendre because of the candy rapper and also he is a rapper. <laughs> Oh! Oh, yay! Then I wasn't the only lit, dumb lit, one. Lit, lit, lick me like, like a lollipop. <clears throat> anyway. Well, guys, we're back, so. <laughs> we're so back. Buckle up. <laughs> okay, next one, and we're going down. Correct. We're going down. I'm yelling timber. We're, um, we're, we're going a lot of places today. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Imaginary rule book is a hazy double IPA. Oh, this smells good. So we like when things are hazy. Correct. And a double IPA, which we learned in one of our first We'll Take the Lots, is often much more mellow than an IPA in terms of the hop factor. This is really good. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh. it's like ju juicy, citrusy. I Ooh, like a good smells, hazy. It smells like orange. Yeah. I get some citrus, you're right. It smells juicy as hell. Juicy. So sorry. <laughs> and I get some juice up in here. Oh, that's so good. That's very different than what we just drank, but Perfect. I like it almost as much, almost. I, here's the thing guys, I've started to like IPAs this year and I'm a huge fan of the hazies. Slowly converting her, I bringing know. her to the dark side, we have cookies. There will still be some where I'm like, but damn, that's a good one. That's I real good. That. The right. next one is one that I'm really excited about. I love a West Coast IPA and not that many places in the Southeast actually brew them to, I mean, that I'm at frequently. I say that and everyone's gonna be like, they brew them everywhere. That's our audience. Not too bitter. Not too bitter. That's actually, maybe my palate's just like, you like IPAs now. But I like that. That's like a pretty crushable IPA. It's light. It's very light. 
It's what a percentage li- is that? So that is 7.2. 7. 7. Well, that's deceiving. Because it tastes very light. <laughs> it does taste you very You know, light. it's interesting. You, obviously, you can see the difference between the North, North Coast IPAs and all the haze, and then this being like almost crystal clear. But it's not as dank as I was expecting. It's not. It's very. That's probably why I like it. Very crushable. I don't like super dank. I think that's the thing I don't like, right? I think I get some pineapple in this, which no is peanut? not usually characteristic of a West Coast IPA. Riveting I television. I don't know what I have. <laughs> Alicia is much better at tasting things than I am. If you take anything away from this, I'm good at beer. I'm funny. She and I have nice Spanish. Hair. She also speaks Spanish. And I like to sing. And that's like everything. Sing. Yeah. Just that's look, everything. This is just about us video now. So my name's Alicia. My middle name's Renee. She has a it dog named Luna. I do. A dog named Luna Lovegood. She's a great Pyrenees. Uh, we talked about your dog, so this yeah, makes sense. Yeah, that's why I was giving it. Um, Give that back. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to drink the next beer. Yeah, you should. <laughs> I wish you would. Uh, this one's called The Third Room. It is a German Pilsner. Ooh. It tastes like, it has Hefeweizen components. It's a little, I got a little banana on that Please, one. Hefeweizen. Hefeweizen, sorry. <clears throat> Are we going to say I, my usual thing? Usually I just call them Hefs. That's fair. <laughs> My husband's German, so... And like. she speaks Spanish. And so. my family's from England. Very multicultural. I know. We need this bite. Your white and blonde hair. <laughs> um, I will say, I did the DNA test thing. Yeah. And First you- off, it turns out I'm 100% that bitch. <laughs> Second, uh, I'm 60% English, Welsh, and like UK. And yeah. then 12% Norwegian. Wow. Which I wasn't expecting. I like that. We should go to Norway. You want to go see the Northern Lights with me? I do. Great. Yeah, cool. Oh, hey. You want to come say hi? Come on in. Guys, this is James Amato, manager extraordinaire. Hello. How are you? Helped build this beautiful (laughs) creation. He did. Now, what is your favorite beer that is on this beautiful tray? Um, I'm a big West Coast IPA fan, so that jazz cabbage is definitely a fan. How do you name these things? Uh, that is a good question. A lot of them are song references. A lot of our West Coasts are Frank Zappa references. Nice. So what's Jazz Cabbage? So Jazz Cabbage is actually... uh, Is it a weed strain? It's a different name for weed. Yay! (laughs) You guys got it. It's But it's just weed. There is no weed in that beer, I promise. None. There's never weed in Noda. There, never. 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 God, no. Anyways, I'm, you I'm enjoy. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> um, this Pilsner tastes like a Pilsner. Shot but it has, listen to my Heffa comment, though. Okay, Doesn't okay. it have a little banana e in there? It smells like it to me. And it tastes like it a little bit. And I don't know if it's maybe I just associate the German uh, components of beer with a little banana, but I get a banana in that. You're right. There's a little banana. I think that what you're tasting that tastes German is the malt in this. Yeah. yeah, so I think that you associate that with Hef, yeah. which is right. Um, yeah, I like that. If you wanted just like, if you're bringing someone to Divine Barrel who usually drinks like a domestic beer, this would be a good call for them. Yeah. Because I think it would be and a nice a transition. a Pilsner? So. It's a Pilsner yeah. and it's 5.2%. So you can drink, honestly, as many as you'd like. I don't know. <laughs> but you also have to drink water. Hydrate! Also, guys, we just have to give a quick shout out because our nails are very on brand, mint and teal, and you're gonna see them a lot as we pull things. But I'm just very proud of our on brand nails. Did a good job. <sighs> wow, that was a good one. Oh yeah, yo. <clears throat> we here. The universe is a donut. The universe is a donut is an imperial pastry stout with 60 pounds of donuts from Charlotte-based donut array called Your Mom Donut. Your Mom's, mom's Donut. Um, an espresso from local coffee company Villain Coffee, cocoa nibs, Fuck. lactose, and vanilla. 10.5% ABV. It's so good. Uh, eh, mm. This might rival your defensive pancake. No, I won't it's love so it as much good. as maple syrup. They also just launched this in cans a couple weeks ago, and um, your mom's donuts makes square donuts, and it's like. They're so good, but it's like all fat. It's just really bad for you, but they're so good. So good. And they just had all the What's donuts What's your there. favorite your mom's donut? I think I know. Can I guess? Guess. Sweet potato? No. Oh. The stuffed sweet potato one yeah, is good. Yeah, stuffed with but like spiced cream They're cheese. normal cinnamon sugar with the... Uh, Glaze? It's, it's mm. like a cream cheese-ish squiggle on top of it. 
it's like a good. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I want it so bad. Um, okay, They're so here's so my thing. I love like a dessert tasting beer, but I don't love Imperial. Ugh. Like the boozy flavor gets kind of caught in my Is chest this one region. Too boozy for you? It's too boozy oh, for God, me. Oh God, I love it. So then. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I used to really love Imperials. Uh, well, it's okay. Palettes shift. My yeah. palate shifted. Now it's starting to like shift. IPAs. Maybe one day I'll wake up and like a sour. I'm sorry. It's, it's not going to line up. It's too dark. <laughs> it's um, too dark. Next up, Basement of My Brain. Oh, they also just released a can of this. Yes. Can of this. Can. Guys, I took a lot of photos for them, so that's why I know this. And I love them. I love yeah. Um, This one's another hazy IPA. 6.5%. Tell me what you think. Ooh. I'm going to have to compare and contrast. Okay. That one's a little, like, sharper. Sharper, like, hoppier? No. Um... I don't know, it has like a little bit more of a zing to it, I think. Like this one feels smoother to me. This tastes like peach rings. Is that the one he said had candy peach rings? No, he said thing? that about this, this one, one, which I didn't get, but this oh. to me tastes like peach rings. Taste it again. Oh yeah, I can get that. Right? Ooh. Yeah, here, taste this one back to back. Yeah. I like tasting the same styles and just comparing. Yeah, that one I get more like pineapple, and that guy I get peach rings. Oh, what a fun little exercise. Mm. Ow. I don't know why I said ow. Ow? That didn't hurt. <laughs> I felt like the glass maybe would have said that when I got it. <laughs> I'm so glad that you're anthropomorphizing our glassware. Yeah, you know, just want to make sure they're okay. This one looks like I'm going to like it. Okay, so this one's <laughs> called Dirty Reindeer. Yeah. Imperial Grapefruit Rodler rested yeah. on Buffalo Trace bourbon chips. So a Rodler is a German beer that's usually like half lemonade, half beer, kind of. Do you know what I mean? Like a Leinenkugel is like a Shandy, Shandies and Rodlers. Yeah. I was gonna Sorry, I was listening, but I was also processing. I, I thought you were maybe asking them if they knew. Yeah, you know. <laughs> um, and the Buffalo Trace <laughs> bourbon chip. So I don't like bourbon, and yeah, again. I don't get a ton of bourbon in this. It's so weird for it to be imperial, but to be 4%. Okay, so here's the thing. Okay. It's not super overwhelming on the grapefruit side. Sometimes grapefruit can get super overwhelming. It doesn't smell good to me. It's not bad. Okay. Um, it's not overwhelming from a grapefruit standpoint. And you can't taste that much bourbon on it. Like, it's like a light, citrusy something. What is happening? Right? Also, I, it's very deceiving sometimes when you smell something and you're like, what in the hell is happening? And you taste it, it's completely different. I feel like that's this. This, <laughs> I'm so confused. Um, this tastes like a boozy lemonade to me. Yeah. Right? Just a little citrusy yeah. something, something. I don't know, it's a little bright. It's good. I'm very confused, but I'm, I'm all right with it. I can be confused. <laughs> um, all right. This looks like another... Juice Demon. That's what this one's called. Juice hazy? Demon is a hazy double IPA. I don't know. Can you guys tell that they like IPAs and haze? <laughs> I can pick them out. I'm like, and here's another hazy, and here's, which obviously isn't a hard thing to do. I'm not like a beer expert. They just look hazy. Oh, she's a beer expert. <laughs> you guys don't even know. Oh, boy. We are doing three Take the Lots today, and this, and this is, is our is first, the first one, one. And I already feel great. So, Juice Demon, hazy double IPA. What are your thoughts? Juicy as fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I like that. More than the other two? Yes. It's like super juicy. Nah. That one, I don't get any <laughs> peach or pineapple, but I get a shit ton of orange. Yeah. It tastes like orange juice, kind of. That's real good. Yeah. It's like, I would. Okay, so like, now that we're halfway through, favorites? I will say from the IPA collection, this guy. And then I'll say Defensive Pancake and Universes of Donuts, probably my two. My others. number one is Defensive Pancake. So good. Forever and always, I think. Um, and my number two is this one, which was Basement of My Brain. That is The good. Peach Ring IPA. All right. Yeah. We're calling it a Peach Ring IPA now. I'm gonna We're just going to rename Excuse there. Excuse me. I want to, like, burp you. <laughs> you want to burp me like a baby? I want to burp you like a baby. Are you a big baby? Are you a big baby? Mm. Okay. If you've ever hung out with us, you'll understand. No, you won't. I feel like we, okay, the best thing about these videos is that some of you people actually watch them, <laughs> which is hilarious. Hi, Mike. <laughs> yeah, hi, Mike. Sound <laughs> social, yay. Um, and it's funny, hey, it's funny when people <laughs> come up to us and they're like, when's your next video coming out? Like, and we're like, people so watch funny. this? And we're like, oh my God, I'm glad you watched this. Thank God. And then they meet us in real life and I think they just 
they know us already from yeah. the videos, so you're welcome for being open and honest and transparent and weird, because that's who we are. That's all we are, yes. honest to God. All right. We also like beer. Been there, koji that. <laughs> Hazy IPA brewed with koji, a fermented rice used to make sake. Sake. And it's a collab with Bond Brothers Brewing Company. Don't know where they are. I feel embarrassed that I said sake correctly because I feel like most people say sake and it makes me sound pretentious, but here we are. I can sake this all day. Normally Alicia does the puns, but I had a good one. There. I do <laughs> usually do the puns, so and mostly I'm just mad that she beat me to it. <laughs> Were you gonna do it? Sake to me. <laughs> sake to me, sake to me, sake. Uh, that's a good one. That's an interesting one to use. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Divine Barrel, love you guys. <laughs> Ew, that tastes terrible. What are you oh, talking about? No, I don't think it's bad. <laughs> what are you tasting on it? I don't like the rice, I Do think. you like sake? No. Well, there we go. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Andrew and I really tried. We went to Vancouver, and Vancouver's big on like a lot of Asian fare, and we were staying in Chinatown, but then we went over to Japantown, and we had sushi, and we were like, all right, we're gonna try to drink sake, like cultured people. And we had one sip each, and we were like, nope. This was a solid effort, and we'll pay for it, but this is, we don't like it. Last time I had sake was in Jamaica. I like that we're like, not Japan. Not Japan at all. I was in Jamaica with Alan's company. And, and they had sake? And we were at the freaking sushi restaurant and everyone was hammered. Oh I might God. have been more hammered than most people, but they did the whole thing where you beat the it sake and bombs. it drops. Yes, yes, And yes. Uh, Do that, think that was the whole time. Then I spilled someone's green tea all over the <laughs> Mel has a thing about spilling things on people. <laughs> I put myself to bed early that night, though. I was like, you guys go have fun. I'm, I'm go done. Sleep. I'm out. I know my out. limits, okay, guys? But yeah, you know, sake bombs are a whole thing. That's a whole thing. I wonder if they put a sake shot in oh, that, what it would taste like. I mean, bad I to me, but probably good to other people who like sake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, another collab with Free Range Brewing this Yay, time. Yay, we love them. Here Wit Heart. It's a wit beer. Get wit it. Get wit it. Whitney Houston. Ooh, that's good. You think we're witty? <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> oh, that's good. That oh. tastes free rangey to me. Do you yeah, know what I mean? It does. If you've uh, ever been to Charlotte, free range brewing does a lot of like foraged beers. Yeah, they funky. use locally sourced ingredients when they can. It's typically organic and sometimes it's like juniper and yes. like all this other shit. We'll take the lot with them soon. Yes. So keep an eye out. They were our birthday If we have a host. link and this is YouTube and we posted it already. Then maybe it'll be right there. It'll be like. Maybe we'll put like a little thing up in the here. corner right here. We don't know how to YouTube very well, but we'll put something somewhere. <laughs> Who knows? The internet's a crazy place. But yes, that does taste very free rangey. But it's good. It's a little funky. Definitely different than this half. I think I used to, like when I was first getting into beer, wits were like my jam. <laughs> she makes a solid point. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wits were like my thing, and now they're really not. Like wits and wheat beers used to be my go-to, but then well, I expanded. Well, that's the approachable thing, right? Mm -hmm. I think usually they put a lot of like flavors in them too, so you get a strawberry wit, and you're like, great, this tastes like strawberry. Or if you're you back before you drank, you're like, like no, this tastes, tastes, like like tastes like beer. It's a beer, but they try. You know? Um, next up, the big Lebelski. Can what? you tell me the difference between a wit and a wheat? Yes. So typically, thank you. <laughs> A wit beer is technically a white ale, so those are the okay. same thing. Wit beer and white ale mean the same thing. Okay. Um, a wheat beer is made with wheat, so if okay. you hear like Weizen, yeah. that means wheat. Okay. So a white ale is yes. still not necessarily going to be brewed with wheat, Got it. Um, but a wheat beer is. So they taste typically similar, um, but if you see white ale, so like in uh, Belgian yeah, beer, yeah, so yeah, yeah. a white ale versus a wit beer, those will be really similar. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Put this is me on the spot. Beer education with Alicia Valensky. Hello, I am available for booking for um, <laughs> workshops and panels. Beer education. Um, just email me at cheers at workforyourbeer.com. Great. Is this mm -hmm. what we just drank? No. Nope. This is a new one. The Big Lebelski, which is typically served in these want, guys. Oh, I was going to say, you want another water special? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, typically, they serve it in this guy, and it's a grotzer, or in Polish, grotzitzi. Grazitski. There we go. The Grazitski. Uh, and it's named after the Big Lebowski, obviously, but it's basically a smoked beer. Mm. So I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not a smoked beer person. Whoa. I think they taste like lunch meat. Whoa. Does it taste like lunch meat? Whoa. Okay, here's the thing. It looks light. It's very deceiving. 
I didn't smell it first, which is my mistake. You should not have smelled it first. That was actually a good call. And then I tasted it, and yes, it tastes. <laughs> Swear to God. Okay, so some people really like smoked beers. I'm not one of those people. I'm also a vegetarian, so like anything that smells, tastes, whatever, like meat, I'm just kind of like. Ugh. This is. We had one a similar one at, at Champion. Champion. I knew you were gonna say that. It smells. Like, I know. I didn't even smell it. I just took it, took it, and as I pulled it away, the whiff came in, and I was like, oh, here we are. Specifically, what it smells like and tastes like to me is when you would buy Lunchables as a kid, <laughs> and it had those little stacks of ham. Oh, bologna. There were little bologna. Also bologna, but it smells like ham, don't you think? I don't want to smell it. <laughs> <laughs> I only did that for you guys, so that you would know that I drank all the beer. <laughs> I love you, Divine Barrel, and I'm sure that people like that. I'm just not one of them. It's okay. We don't have to like all the beers. We're we real don't. here. We don't. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what if we were just like, excuse us. <laughs> it's not that bad. No. It, it just is a very specific style. It's, like It's still in my mouth. We got to move on. Um, <laughs> the next one, I'm, I have good news and bad news. It's the Hot Lebowski, which oh, is God. <laughs> an ahi lemon pepper. So it's just going to taste like lemon. What lemony. was the first word you said? Ahi? Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant like tuna. No. <laughs> Ahi limon pepper grazer. I was like, tell me how this is going to be a tuna lemon beer. <laughs> so it, it sounds like it's going to taste like lemony pepper lunch meat this time. It doesn't smell as strong. That's true. Okay. That's true. Okay, let's try it. I do like the pepper on it. Okay, I like the aftertaste. It's very peppery and a little bit heat. You're getting a little heat, like a habanero. What is it? Ahi limon pepper. I don't know. If that ah! is. <laughs> it's so spicy. It is spicy. <laughs> what? Do you think I don't know what that is. Ahi limon, but we I should ask. I don't know them. either, and I'm not happy. We about need a it. buzzer to bring them in and be like, "Excuse us, we have a question." Uh, remember to ask them that when we get out. <laughs> next. I'm next. Upset. Next. Listen. Here's what I'll say. There is a specific crowd of people who like smoked <laughs> beers and pepper beers. They are fucking thrilled that Divine Barrel does this so well, and they come here for it. We are just not those people. You know, this one wasn't bad for me. I liked the pepper hotness, it's fading out. It reminds me of like the jalapeno pale ale. Yeah, or, yeah, or the Russian roulette we just did. And yeah. I don't like any of those either. Well. But I'm not everybody, so. But you're here to listen to what I think, so. Yeah, so if you don't like it, then you can get the fuck out. <laughs> or if you don't like it, you can come here and drink it yourself anyway. Yeah. Who cares? <clears throat> Sorry, I just jammed my favorite murder there. <laughs> yeah, a little Karen Kildare faction. All right, this one smells like it might be sour. That one is, yeah, it's Playa del Pina, a tapache style oh, Berlina Baisa, brewed with fuck. pineapple, yes. cinnamon, ginger, habanero, and lactose. It's gonna taste yes, yes, delicious. It's yes. gonna taste like a fucking cocktail. Do I'm it. I'm obsessed with this. Do it. I already tried it. Do you love it? Yes. Do you love it a lot? So it's like pineapple jalapeno, super pineapple juicy, and a little sour tart. Do you get any oh. cinnamon ginger yes. situation? I get cinnamon. Let's try for the ginger. This is a fun experiment. I like to try and see if I can taste it. The power it of suggestion. I don't get the ginger, but there's a lot going on in there. It's very pineapple forward. Ooh. Like very pineapple forward. Ooh, cool. that's good. That might challenge my best beer one in here. Usually they do more sours. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Here's the thing. Okay, super juicy. A little tart, but very sweet because of the pineapple. My thing with sours is typically, I don't like when they are like, that's me. like warheads. I she like loves them. warheads. But this is more like, um, it's like drinking pineapple juice. <laughs> what if I still just ate warheads on what? a daily? Why, why do they make you? those still? Tell us in the comments. Uh, that's not one of my top favorites, but I do enjoy it very much. I really like that one. And I think they did a great job. Mm. That feels like a reward for the lunch meat. <laughs> Love you. Dylan. Maybe you only like it because you hate it too. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Shit, all right. This one's really full. They poured this very full. This one's called, I'd like to meet his tailor, and it's a porter. I don't porter? <laughs> God Sorry. damn it. Um, do you think? That's a friend reference? I'd like to meet a tailor. No, I actually think it's a Seinfeld reference. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of the, the episode where the tailor where takes the advantage of me. <laughs> Chandler is so good. I know. I can Guys, be Chandler Bing. If you like friends, be our friend. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what is this? Did you? It's a porter. Porter. I hardly know her. God damn it, Mel. Keep up. <laughs> Ugh. 
sometimes you guys on camera we seem like we're friends but actually we leave and I'm like fuck this bitch uh. <laughs> lick it off the table no all right <laughs> I wanted to see how far I could make that go also we do really love each other <laughs> Oh, that almost came out my nose. That was painful. Oh, oh boy. I'm unhappy. Okay, this mm. tastes like a <laughs> just tastes like a really good porter. It's a really good porter. It's robust. It's a little toasty. Got some caramel. It. I think the caramel on that one is a very good fuse. Like it's not overbearing. I agree. It's a good porter. It's not like you're drinking like a caramel macchiato, but it's like a little hint of caramel. Very just like. Drink it by a fire, feel cozy and warm, and wrapped in a blanket. Yeah, that's what I good. would describe that as. Very good. Okay. All right, next. Next up is present company excluded, an American pale ale. This looks hazy for a pale. No, usually, oh, okay. so, <laughs> look at this. No, you are wrong. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that way, sorry. No, it's okay. So, the level of cloudiness here is a little bit thicker and makes it look lighter. A pale ale, the SRM, which this is the color, will be a little yeah. bit more on the... I was going to say it's a little orangier. Yes, exactly. A little more I'm golden. Learning. At least she teaches me something about my right It's like a haystack color, if we're going to be straight up about it. Too hoppy for me. How interesting... <laughs> no, sorry, I'm not like, challenging you. I'm just like, how interesting is it that I feel this way about pale ales a lot too, but I think everyone in their mind, if you're like a hop head, you love IPAs, but... Pale ales to me are often the more like bitter. Yeah, this one's bitter. Right? <laughs> me. Too hoppy. Goodbye. <laughs> Tastes like lunch meat. No thanks. I don't know why I'm Kevin from the office now. It does I don't like, like it thing. at all. Wow. Well, I've all. never seen your Kevin impression. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done one. That was really good. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. I needed your support on that one. <laughs> Oh, really dumb. Um, I like it, which isn't surprising. It's yeah. nice and hoppy. I've been craving some like legit hops because I will say these are all very mellow and approachable, but sometimes you just want to chew on a hop, you know? No, I don't know. Well, sometimes you want to suck on a warhead and I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't know what's happening today. Uh, this looks like a beer flavored beer. It doesn't because it's holiday in Berlin of Berlin of Wait, is this going to be one I really like? It's going to be so like People are going to leave because I keep doing my dumb girl voice. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the opposite of the dumb <laughs> We compliment each other so, so well. Ooh, that's really good. It smells It's like sour. a little salty. A little salty? Yeah, a little salty. I think. Tastes more like um, a goza? A goza than a Berliner to me. I would actually agree with that. Beer. I Knowledge. No Power. Learning. <laughs> Woo! Okay, but don't tell them that because they named the beer wrong. <laughs> Just kidding. They could be we right. Love fine barrel. But, but it, it tastes, tastes like goza, a goza, right? Yeah. Well, because it tastes limey. Mm, it's so limey. Me, well, we have the be, lime salt thing. So that could we could be wrong, but yeah. it tastes limey. It tastes limey, salty. Slimy. It tastes like a Ooh. goza. Yeah. But it's good. I like gozas. It goes well with your taste. Sorry. Puns. All day. <laughs> That's how I roll. We would be really good dads. <laughs> I actually think that's true. I'm always like, I'd be a terrible mom, but I could but be a good great dad. dad. Emotionally you distant, know? terrible <laughs> jokes, you know? Dad jokes, for real. Yeah. For days. Yeah, yeah. All right, Mel. Let's do it. Let's be dads. You got to pick your favorite. Mm. Right now. Okay, so I have this, this. No. Nope. That's yours. Don't you touch that. <laughs> that and this. So I've got defensive pancake and. Basement of my brain as my tops. I've got, got things that Alicia knows the name of. You've got the universe, universe is a donut, donut and uh, Playa del Pina. What? Just want to come. <laughs> which one do you like? Um, I would like to chug. This one that has less. <laughs> no, my okay. favorite one. Mm. Excuse me, this is a hard time for me. So I'm going to say all the words I know for cheers. Not all. Just yeah. one. No, I want to say Then we them can all. close it with one. You know how cool our videos are at the end when she's just like, slancha, bitch. Slancha, bitch. All right, well, this time it's going to be... You have to do it, and then I'll use it in the 60-second kit. It'll be good. This one's going to be check. Check it out. Nasdravi. Wow. Katie Blitz. Hi. 